Hello everyone and welcome to my unboxing and quick look at the Seasonic Platinum 1200 watt power supply. This power supply is absolute overkill for my system. I mean, I just run one CPU and one GPU and certainly don't need so much wattage. But I bought this power supply uh, for a few reasons. One is this hybrid mode. Um, with the hybrid mode, the fan will start spinning uh, at around 40% load. And this is round about the sweet spot where my system is now running under load. So I probably won't see the fan spinning. I certainly won't hear it. Uh, that's one reason. The second reason, it's black and silver. It fits my build perfectly. And the last reason is I got a really fair price and I just couldn't resist. So that's about that. And um, I guess we start looking at the power supply right now, the cables and all the good stuff inside. So let's get started. All right, let's take a good look at the outer box. When you buy this power supply, this is the first thing you see. Of course, with a picture of the power supply, the efficiency is 80 plus platinum, 1200 watts, of course, Seasonic. Nothing very interesting here. This is kind of interesting. I will zoom you a little bit in. There's uh, also technical information about the efficiency and how this uh, hybrid mode works and stuff like that. But of course you can read this all up on the Seasonic website in greater detail and the last more interesting technical part on this side of the box. You can pause and read it all up or as I told before check the Seasonic website. And I guess that's it for the outer box. So when you pull the box out of the box you are greeted with this uh, very eco-friendly brown box. And here's where the good stuff is. Where do I open it? Ah, on this side. All right, of course you get your user's manual. The double back with the cables. What's actually inside I will show you later. Then a goodie bag. And well packed in a nice soft styrofoam and another bag the power supply itself which I will also show you in greater detail later but actually that is what you get in the bag So, inside the goodie bag you find 8 zip ties, 6 of these very nice velcro straps for cable management, the mounting screws and a very nice uh, uh, plastic uh, case badge which got, which got a little bit scratched because it was packaged together with uh, in the same bag uh, like the screws. Come on Seasonic, that was not the smartest move. All right, so this is the cable bag with two pouches. On one side you find all the peripheral cables and the power cord. Could have been a little bit thicker, but I guess it gets the job done. I'll put this to the side. Okay, what do we have? We have the good old fashioned floppy uh, uh, Burke connector. Then you get uh, uh, two Molex connectors, two Molex cables, one with uh, three header and one shorter one with just two headers. Then you get one, two, three, four SATA cables. One is actually a little bit shorter, it has just uh, uh, two headers for SATA and the other one, two, three actually have 
four connectors on them. So I guess uh, that's plenty uh, SATA connectors. So let's take a look on the other side of the pouch. Here we get all the power cables and you get one PCI Express, two, three, four, five of these. Of course the ATX cable and two um, um, CPU power cables. I guess that's a whole lot of cables, especially because the PCI Express one, uh, each of them has two headers. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, CPU cables. You get two of them. Both of them are 8-pin. One is different because uh, it has uh, two 4-pin headers which you can of course connect together. Uh, not every main board uh, needs a, a fixed 8-pin, so that's what this one is for. Uh, and uh, I guess this is a good solution, nicely done. So, let's take a look at the PCI Express cable. It's fairly long and you get actually uh, five of these cables so in total you have 10 8 pin PCI Express graphics card connectors um, all of these connectors are a 6 plus a 2 pin and they have this uh, uh, double header design so you can run one GPU with only one cable and if you just need one connector you can easily tuck this part away and get a clean aesthetics for your cables so on the cable management side uh, Seasonic did a really good job there okay let's take a look at the ATX cable as you can see it's uh, completely black the cables are black the connectors are black the braiding is black and I must say it's a really nice uh, uh, sleeving job. I can look through it, which is amazing. The sleeving is soft, flexible and um, nicely done. This end, this end goes in the power supply unit and this one connects to your mainboard. It is a, a 20 plus 4, so if you have all the hardware you can take this part off and use it for all the hardware, so uh, nicely done. I'll dig this cable. Amazing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event, the unbagging of the Seasonic Platinum 1200 Watt Power Supply. Here we go. On the top or bottom side, it doesn't matter which side you uh, put this fan on, uh, you are greeted with this uh, grey area. The fan is just plain black, no lighting or whatsoever. A nice Sonic logo. Power switch with small honeycomb. Very big, very satisfying click. On this side you find a uh, subtle writing some embossed uh, uh, lines very elegant very sleek top side plain black very stealthy i like that on the other side they have to put the stickers on there's no way around it and on the connector side you find this uh, little switch this is actually for the hybrid mode i was talking about the whole time and now we peel off the sticker together and just for fun I show you how this uh, whole thing works with the uh, modular cables 
you just find the right spot. This is a SATA a peripheral cable. This is peripheral writing, so you can put him on, uh, put it in anywhere you want in the six pin areas. Very nice solution. And what I also want to show you, um, it's a 1200 watt power supply and uh, usually these power supplies are a little bit bigger than normal size power supplies. Just for comparison, I pulled one out, I mean, you can see that, but here you can actually see quite well how much longer this power supply is. So if you buy something like that, take in mind that uh, you have to have the space in your case for, for a monster like that. All right then, you made it through. Thanks for burying with me and my little uh, cable fetish. I hope I see you next time and bye bye.